Good morning, boys and girls. I have our special guests here for a wonderful interview. They are going to show their college off to you, but I'll let them start by introducing themselves. Good morning, I'm Miss Trupant. Good morning, I'm Miss Urbano. So we've got PE and music here together, and it just so happens that they went to the same college. So as you know, I have some special questions to ask them, and they've got some special answers and some important stuff to share with you guys. All right, here we go. First question. Where did you attend college? U-D-S-A. Go Runners! <laughs> we both went to the University of Texas at San Antonio. Awesome. So it's the University of Texas at San Antonio, and I heard... And actually, that was going to be one of my questions. So what what is your mascot? Our mascot is Rowdy the Roadrunner. He's right here. Mm -hmm. And this is how you make a roadrunner. You stick up your thumb and your pinky. That's his head. That's his tail. And he runs this way. Mm -hmm. Super fast. Can't catch them. Awesome, boys and girls. So, you know, I love for y'all to practice those, those little, that you got the little roadrunner. I think we did hilltoppers and we've done ruse. So now you've got the roadrunner. How do we do it again? Thumb, pinky, mm -hmm. go. There you go. So that's way that way you can do it in the hallway now when you see them. You can say, yeah. Okay. What made you interested in going to college? Well, um, I've always been a um, athletic, and I wanted to run. And when I was in high school, uh, I was a runner, and a college approached me and wanted me to go to their school, and it was really fun. And um, that's what you know. I went to college to continue my education and run. Wow, so college chose you. Uh -huh. That's amazing. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Bono's story is a little different. She didn't actually know what she wanted to do whenever <laughs> she was growing up. And in high school, she wanted to be a mathematician, and then she wanted to be an interior designer. But then one day she heard some beautiful video game music when she was playing some game. I don't remember which one it is. You know who I am. I love games. And I got inspired to become a composer. So I went around Texas to a couple different schools and I auditioned on my flute, but I was terrible. Then I went to UTSA and they gave me a second chance. They said, look, we know you're not the best flute player, but we know you have a lot of passion. So why don't you come over to our school? We'll help you become a better flute player and a better composer along the way. Awesome, thanks for sharing. So which type of degree or degrees did you get when you completed your program? I got my Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology um, and my teaching certificate. Ms. Urbano got her Bachelor's in Fine Arts with a concentration in Music Composition. Awesome. And did you live on campus when you were attending UTSA? If so, what was that like? I did live on campus. I lived on several um, several different places. I lived in some apartments and I lived um, with my teammates. And it was really fun to be able to um, just live with some young people that were like-minded with me and we ran together and we um, cooked together and it was, it was really fun. I actually lived at home the first year because it was pretty close. Um, <coughs> well, actually, no, I'm lying. It wasn't pretty close at all. It was a 30-minute drive, but it was great because I was able to save money that first year so I could save up to live on campus. On campus at UTSA, since it's a smaller school, they have apartments, like Ms. Drubant said, but sometimes they can be really pricey, and so I had to make sure I saved up money before I did that. But I lived on campus for three years after that. It's good stuff. I love that. So and what we've heard so far um, also with, with other interviewees is that some schools do allow you to live on campus. Some you actually have to commute, which like you said, sometimes you would drive at the beginning. Um, and But I think it's really important that you said that because it does cost a little bit extra to live on campus. So you have to be mindful of that and save, right? Yes. That's one of the big things that I think college students all had trouble doing because it's like oh, you yeah. figured out how to live on your, or you're trying to figure out how to live on your own and learning how to save that money. So, but I love that. I love that. Okay. Uh, were you, oh, and, and Mr. Ben, and um, Mr. Bono kind of already answered this, but I'm going to let them answer it again. Were you in at any activities or clubs? Uh, yes, I was a um, athlete. I ran cross country and indoor track and outdoor track. And I was a member of the student athlete advisory committee, which was like a volunteer athlete committee um, that we would do stuff around campus and, and help out. Awesome. That's awesome. Mr. Bono was part of 
the Spirit of San Antonio marching band, Spirit of San Antonio. She was the first head drum major for the organization two years running. Nice. She also helped found a sorority called Tau Beta Sigma, which is a sorority um, that helps the marching band essentially they do a lot of services like clean uniforms or fix broken marching band stands or go out into the community and play for others she was also part of who's who at uh utsa and there was another one and i can't remember what it was it had to do something with um being part of the college elite and i got the golden feather award for being part of that organization very cool they were very involved so i love that so they can be involved in clubs or programs that have to do with things that they are interested in so we heard some jogging stuff <clears throat> excuse me some running stuff and then we also heard the band stuff but i love how they both also included that they were responsible for being a part of an organization that had to do with community. So that's all about going into like the city and helping out neighbors, making sure that everybody is safe or has what they need. So if that's interesting to you, start thinking about how you can give back also in providing a service in college. That's awesome. So what was the best thing about going to college? Well, I think that getting me prepared to live and be an adult and, and um, but also the friendships that I made and um, I just went to a, a baby shower for one of my college roommates and it was a uh, you know it was really fun to have those long-lasting friendships and and also the the preparing you to, to to leave college and to get out into the world and, and to be an adult. I completely agree with Ms. Trina. It's a, it's a lot about the friendships that you make there. The friends that you make in college tend to be the lifelong friends that you keep by your side because they share common interests and goals and skills, um, such as Ms. Truvan with her athleticism or Ms. Urbano with her music, and you can collaborate with those friends as you get older. So definitely the friendships, definitely everything that I learned. I couldn't have been a music writer or a teacher if I didn't go to college and learn those very important skills when I was there. Very cool. Thank you so much. And last question is, what is something that you were interested in as a kid that made it helpful and exciting for you to learn more about it when you got to college? Well, for me, you guys know that I like to run. <laughs> when I was in elementary school, I won the first place in the mile. The, nice. The field day. And so that's when I knew that I was going to be a runner. Um, <laughs> so that's, that, I mean, and that's still my path, right? I'm still... Uh, something that I found out that I was good at in elementary school and I continued all the way and I got a scholarship and got to go to college for free and, and now I'm still doing it with you Nice. Guys. <laughs> That's incredible. Going to college for free, boys and girls, do It's sports. a big deal. It's yes, a big deal. Or academics too. Academics too. Yeah. <laughs> it's really amazing. So Mr. Bono, when she was in elementary school, was part of the choir, but believe it or not, my PE teacher was my choir teacher oh, okay. so i That's mean cool it was it was pretty interesting because i got to do both we got to do a lot of singing and dancing very athletic stuff and we got to do the singing part which is amazing as well so <laughs> choir when i was in elementary school which inspired me to become part of the band when i got into middle school and i played the flute i've been playing the flute since sixth grade and in high school i joined the marching band and that's when i started making connections with other friends that were very passionate about music and marching band not just where i was going to high school but all around around the city of San Antonio, and it really helped encourage me and supported me to go and follow my passion, follow my dream, which was to compose music. And my parents were also really supportive too. They are both musicians. And so mm -hmm. growing up with both of them being musicians and singing and playing music all the time in our house was one of the things that really just sent me forth to be a composer when I went to college. That is awesome. So it's like a little seed is planted in their head of, of what they were interested in as kids. And it kind of just kind of developed over the time. And even if you don't find anything, and like even Mr. Bono said it earlier, like if you don't know what you want to go to college for, like you will figure it out. Like just even just getting in there will get you into those things and get you those experiences that you need to find what you love. Anything else you'd like to share with us today? Oh, go Roadrunners. I think you have something to show them, though, don't you? You have a thing? Oh, well, oh, I, she's I brought, got some stuff to show. I brought some of my um, my awards that I earned when I was in college. Oh, those are awesome. So she gets to keep those forever. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Drum major plaque here. I got two of them because I was drum major for two years. 
and I got my pin from my sorority, Tau Beta Sigma. Ooh. You were supposed to wear this right on top of your um, emblem, on top of your marching band uniform, if you're a part of that exclusive organization. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. Very cool. So cool pins that they got to keep, these cool plaques, all this stuff showing all the things that they did in college and worked hard for. That is too awesome. Anything else, ladies? Anything um, else? Just definitely go runners. Mm -hmm. Check out UTSA, boys and girls. We bleed orange and blue and white. Yeah. It's an amazing school. <laughs> it's the best school in the world. Go there you go. It. There you go. So, and you can actually look it up online, okay? So, UTSA. So, it's the University of Texas of San Antonio. So, we hope you enjoyed today's interview with our two awesome guests. Thank you, ladies. And we hope you have a wonderful day.